Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny I'm Death from Above. It's Wednesday, February 24th. I have an eye doctor's appointment today, but it's also arms day. So we're going to look at the field test weapons, take a look at some foundry orders, talk about them, and get into it. Then we'll go back to the tower and look at next week's foundry orders. So let's shoot some stuff. Um, I was there's There's a couple field test weapons this week. Three of them are crucible related, so we're only going to be doing a couple. Stop shooting me. Stop it. So we're going to take a look at the field test weapons this week. We got the Surus TSB-10 Pulse Rifle. This requires you to kill Hive targets. I think you're going to have to kill 25 Hive. And I was thinking, where can I do Hive? And I was like, I'll go to the Dreadnought. When was the last time you came to the Dreadnought? I don't come here very often. Hi, what are you doing? Get out of here. Ooh, there's two. There's two targets. This Cabal is really annoying me. Anyway, kill some Hive with it. I would say go to the Dreadnought. Why not? Change your pace. Uh, you got to kill 25 Hive with it. This Phalanx, man. This Phalanx. So... There's that one. And then the only other PvE field test weapon this week is the Amalon Test FR1, where you need to kill Vex Minotaurs. There's two places I recommend do this. Venus on the Citadel. Own Venus in the Citadel, whatever you want to say it like. There there are three Minotaurs that spawn in the bottom right back in that cave. Uh, you, only, you can't do the yellow bars. Those don't count. You have to do the red bar health Minotaurs. Those two will continuously respawn, so just run a circle there. Or just load into Mars, the main first area. I think it's the Barrens. Um, that little lower part where the Minotaur keeps respawning with the other Vex. Go there. Problem is a lot of people will be doing that this week, and it's the main spawn area. So you might have a hard time doing that because you got to kill 10 Minotaurs. Everything else this week is Crucible related. Uh, we have another FR1 that's crucible ready. You got you got to get 10 kills. Same with the shotgun. Got to get 10 kills, and then the rocket launcher, the the bane of my field test existence. The stupid crucible rocket launcher takes you forever. Got to get 10 kills with that. So there's the field test weapons. Now let's talk about foundry orders from last week. And I will admit something. I'll give myself a slow clap. I did not buy any foundry orders last week. I was too busy playing the division beta over the weekend. And, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about the guns that I do have. I actually have a version of each one of these except for the first one, which is the Surus ARI-41, which is the mid-impact, mid-rate-of-fire auto rifle. It's very similar to the Hawkins hatchet, so we'll pull the Hawkins hatchet while we talk about it. Um, the ARI-41 options are take a knee with some pretty good stability perks as the first option. Hip fire is the second option with some range, which is okay. And then take a knee with some range as the third option. So, um, as far as my choice, if I had to pick one, I would pick the first or the second, either take a knee or hip fire, but neither one of them is very good. So, I honestly can't re recommend either of them. I would say, get if you have the 41 package, I would say get it and keep it until next week. So, you're not, you're not going to really be out anything if you wait on that one. Then next we have the Suros DIS-43. I do have a DIS-43 ready to go. Um, options on the DIS-43 are full auto with pretty good stability, which I'm actually going to recommend that one straight off the bat. Um, then we have a hip fire with some snapshot and some range, which is decent. Ooh, ooh, get hip fired. And then we have rodeo as the third option with not good perks. So I definitely recommend going with the first option on the DIS-43 with the full auto and good stability. You won't be disappointed. It's a fun, looks like it'll be a fun gun. So pick that one up. This is a DIS-43 that I got a couple weeks ago. Next we have the Cockatus SR-4. This is the really high impact, low rate of fire, Amalon scout rifle. Now options this week, you have Icarus and Firefly, which decent, decent. Then we have Next, we have Icarus and Third Eye if you want to go PvP with it. And then finally, Life Support and Firefly. So it's up to you if you want to do Life Support and Icarus, or Life Support and Firefly, or Icarus and Third Eye, or Icarus and Firefly. They're all, all kind of the same. Maybe go with Life Support and Firefly. That's the third option. Probably the best of the bunch. So get that if you want it. Then next, we have the Uzum RR4 Sniper Rifle. I actually like this sniper rifle. It's a fun gun. I'll pull it out in a second as soon as I kill these guys. Actually, let's just run away, run away, run away. Uzum RR4 sniper rifle. This is an Amalon sniper rifle. I actually consider this one a fun gun. Uh, it's a fast rate of fire, low impact sniper rifle, but it's really, really stable. I really enjoy it. This one's got a lot of stability perks on it. I don't need to use all my ammo so I can look at the other sniper rifle. Boom and boom. Boom, boom. Gotcha. So, 
The RR4's options this week, you have life support and performance bonus is the first option. Clown cartridge and performance bonus is the sex, sex, sex option? Mmm, sex option. Ooh, don't you be shooting me. Jerk! Oh, he's enraged. Oh, no. Uh, second option is clown cartridge, performance bonus, and third option is life support and outlaw. I would say go for life support and outlaw. Outlaw is a good perk to have on a sniper rifle. Uh, it's a it's a very much a PVE fun gun. I get into PVP with it sometimes. Uh, it's almost a scout rifle in PVE or in PVP. So it's a fun gun. Finally, we have the Tamar or the Tamar D. I think I pronounced all of these very very wrong. Oh, that's the wife. Or that's the Ify. Let's pull up the Tamar. Tamar, I know I had it. I know I had it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Alright, grab the Tamar. And pop a synth. Pop a synth. So this is a... It's, this, it's kind of the... Uh, very comparable to... I can't think of the dang name, but I've got it. Defiance of Yasmin. They have very similar perks. Defiance of Yasmin. This one's got a little bit more range, a little less stability. But our options this week on the tomorrow are surplus partial refund with quick draw, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Hi. Let's shoot you. Then we have counterbalance Zen moment snapshot with brace frame. That's the second option is pretty strong. And then the third option is surplus with partial refund and it has quick draw. Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards quick draw, but the middle one with counterbalance Zen moment and snapshot or brace frame would be really, really fun if you like PVE and PVP guns. So I would definitely probably go with the second option. Although the third option is a very solid option. So don't be afraid to grab either one of those. Um, but yeah, those are the foundry orders from last week. I didn't pick any up, but I do have all the guns. I've had so many ARI-41s. I don't know why I didn't get that. Uh, why I don't have one in the vault, but I don't. So there you go. I got a charged Argonark rune. Ar Agonark. Agonark rune. Either way, I got a charged Agonark rune. So uh, there's the foundry orders from last week-ish. Uh, field test weapons for this week and then we're going to go back to the tower and we will take a look at next week's foundry orders and talk about them and i will see you there all right we're back in the tower we're going to take a look at next week's foundry orders talk about them and give my order of importance so we've got the hockey arminius d this is the high right of fire low impact auto rifle let me double check that real quick i always get the arminius and the zaranea mixed up so the zaranea is the medium impact, the Arminius, is the low impact. Yeah. So this is a definitely fun gun. I've got a really cool one with counterbalance that I like using a lot. It's actually very, very good. Um, then we got the Tuanella SR4. This is the hung jury version from the gunsmith or the version of the hung jury that is the Amalan scout rifle. Then we got the Hake Garris D. It's a hand cannon. I don't really prefer Hake hand cannons. It's kind of got some impact and some bullets. I don't know. Uh, it's the mid impact, mid rate of fire hand cannon from Hake. Hake Strongbow D, five round shotgun. It's a middle of the road shotgun. And the Uzum RR4, it's actually a fun gun sniper rifle. So definitely go for the Arminius D first, then the two Anella SR4. Those two are going to be very good guns. Uh, hopefully, it has a good talent roll on it that you can grab one of those. And then I would get the Uzum RR4. I actually like this sniper rifle, it's a fun gun for me. Um, but you could switch it out with the Strongbow D. The Strongbow D is just a mid-performing shotgun. It's nothing, nothing special. It's outperformed by a lot of others, um, but it's number four on the list. And the Garris D is number five on the list. My cats decided to say hello. Say hello, cats. <laughs> They're assisting me in the video today. But anyway, there's the foundry orders for next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found it enjoyable. What did you get out of your packages? Which gun do you like? Um, and what are you looking forward to next week? So. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. See you. Bye.